So today we're going to make an easter egg that's a bit special. I'll start in plasticity, here's the basic shape. You can start placing the leg now. I'm dividing my head into three at an angle of 120 degrees, so I can only work only on one leg. And then a simple radial array to mesh everything together. Then I cut out the leg with Alt J. Don't worry, he won't suffer, I think. I'm now working on how the leg will be connected to the body. Another one who skipped the leg day. Luckily, he's got a third one. being lazy here and duplicating the leg for the lower part. Some more details so it looks complicated. Don't forget to add some chicken fillet. Add some screw to fill the blank area so it doesn't look too empty. You can even duplicate this screw. Let's make him a cute little head, with big eyes. Add more chamfer. Chamfer is the answer. It's time to open his skull and put two huge cannons inside. Much better with cannons. More chamfer. We always want more chamfer. Some little teeth. To make it easier to print and paint, I've created some interlocking keys. And voila, it's ready. If you want to print it, the link is in the description. It's free. Happy Easter. After seven hours of printing, the war machine comes to life. I use the alcohol to remove most of the resin. Then I allow him to take a dip in a big bath. Go, go and learn to swim, little chick. And here's the print results. A little trip to the UV machine, like Patrick Bateman. And off we go for an afternoon of sending fun. There is a lot of sending to be done here, probably due to a lack of support. I love the smell of the primer in the morning. Once the primer is done, I start my rust with a mix of brown and orange. Ugh, that's a big stain.
Now I had a little chipping with a sponge. I blessed the egg with a little paint juice from my brushes. It gives it a nice sheen in the highlights. Let's apply some Vallejo GP medium on it. Let's move on the first coat of the yellow. After cleaning my hairbrush 10 times because it was clogged, I got rid of the yellow layer. Now I'm giving it more Easter-like style, few small motifs. We look great on it. Not really straight, but it's okay. Little flowers, I love flowers. They're quiet, not like my ex girlfriend. And more flowers. A little gunmetal paint for the iron parts. I'm now going to moisten it to reveal the rust. Now some highlights on the edges. And here's the final painting, ready for the war. Maybe not. Let's tackle the ground. For this, I pour some plaster. and then sprinkle some plaster powder on top to create a bit of texture. Then I walk on the ground to get a more realistic look. It's looking a little bit too much like a brownie right now. I then dry brush with a lighter color to reveal the bumps. Let's paint little pebbles. It relax me. It's pretty. Not quiet. Not like... anyway.
I'm going to add some small grasses for even more realism. In the end, my work on the ground was hidden by the grass. Too bad. Few little branches. And the final 